now, it is the moment you have all been waiting for, bringing you the current trends and happenings from around the campus, with your hosts, Ryan, Are There Any More Donuts, and Tom, Tinder Left Swipe. We bring you Across St. Phil's. Hi, my name is Ryan, and this is Tom, and welcome to Across Across St. Phil's. So, um, kind of speechless here, Tom. Good, because I want you to keep your mouth shut for a little bit, because I want people to know how much fun the talent show is going to be. It's on May 15th. I would like to call it a variety show, because we're going to have such a variety of exotic and weird and interesting acts. And it's a fundraiser. And last year, the last time we had it, not last year, but the last time we had it, we raised $2,700. Oh, I thought I was about to say thousands. Mm-hmm. Well, you can if you want. And um, we bought some microphones, and we need more microphones now. Can't and have some enough. other equipment. We need to upgrade the uh, equipment that perhaps you're watching this on right now. Mm-hmm. And so that's why we need the money. So we want you to show up May 15th, 6 o'clock. Don't be late. That's right. So, talent show. Okay coming up and uh, let's talk about some other events and some groups we have around campus I want to do a highlight on the youth the well, church youth. Please do. Yeah. So many of you have probably seen the church youth active around our campus, and they deserve a shout out for all the things that they have been participating in because of the youth trip that's coming up. They so, have been working really extremely hard, hard, doing a lot of things. So we had our garage shell a couple okay. of weeks ago okay. that they participated in. They've been at church ushering and selling stocks. They have helped um, whenever Joe has asked for people to come and help around the campus. We've had you show up for that. They're We've working had, on parents' night out. Parents' and night an out. Upcoming car wash. Car wash. And where is it that they're going? So they are going to go to Belton, Texas, this year, um, right before the Fourth of July. Okay. The week before, they are going to drive up and they'll be there all week. And they have been actively raising money because they have to pay for a room and board, the van, tools, food, all that stuff. And so we went from having a couple hundred dollars to now having over $5,000 that they awesome. have raised. That's awesome. So shout out to our youth and to Miss Erica. And the people who've made donations. That's right. Just, yeah. People have made donations, buying stocks. Of course, all the youth parents who have been driving them back and forth for the different events and helping out as well. You so, know they're looking forward to that trip. That's right. <laughs> We're having a, a week free, that's for sure. So we've had a lot of <clears throat> um, help from around the church, and we have a great youth program here, and I think that they deserve a pat on the back and probably a trip to the movies or some type of party coming up soon for all the hard work they have had. So okay, we love our youth, and they even helped at the Fiesta de Mayo sup we had um, just this past Sunday. Just this past Sunday. It was great, great fun. We had the mariachi band from Rice, uh, Rice University. La Luna Llena. We had wonderful, authentic Tex-Mex food prepared Ooh. by... The Ryan Molina and yeah, the Molina and the families and uh, served as well mm-hmm. and uh, did a wonderful job. We had about, a, I think I counted 126 people there mm-hmm. who had just a wonderful, wonderful time. It was yes. great fun. It was good. Um, mm-hmm. And we have another SUP coming up in a few weeks. Okay. So we got two this month. And we, we didn't want to pass up an opportunity to highlight all of our graduates. So on May 22nd, again at 6 p.m., we will have a graduation celebratory SUP. Um, in the Fellowship Hall. And this isn't just for our graduates. This is a big community event for any graduates who are pre-K all the way maybe to a college graduate who just want to be celebrated. We want to bring those families and those neighbors in. The wee ones to the big ones. The wee ones to the big ones. All going to be celebrated if they're graduating. And also, after church on Sunday, that same day, for our graduating seniors, Sergio and Emma. Right. That'll be just for hours. There's going to be a little Mm -hmm. reception after church, and uh, that'll be a nice way to... uh, Thank them for all, all that they have done mm-hmm. in and the church bring gifts over the years. Or letters. Yeah. Um, so it'll be a day of graduation celebration. Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, let's actually talk about our um, veteran church members. So we're going from the youth, youth. graduation to the Beloved real, youth. real senior <laughs> graduation. Uh, our, our adult trips um, that we have at the church approximately once a month. Well, then in y'all's most recent trip, y'all went to the f- farmer's market. Yes, yes, and uh, we went to the farmer's market and to Lucky Land. Lucky Land, that's Lucky what Land, I was of. Uh, which was really kind of interesting. A lot more um, things there to do than we expected, and it was really, really uh, fun. And I heard y'all got to see terracotta warrior replicas, and, uh, and there was rode some, the waves. There were some great photographic opportunities <laughs> there, and uh, the, one of the ladies that was working there kept 
dragging us around telling us, you want to get a picture here, get a picture here. And she was exactly right because the pictures were really so, kind of cool. Great. So any upcoming trips? The one, it, the next one is coming up. It's um, May 10th, which is a little less than a week from now. We're mm -hmm. going down to the Hobby Center downtown to see the Jersey Boys Ooh, musical. It's going to be fun. Yeah. That sounds good. Love those Jersey Boys. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be a night out on the town. Yeah. Um, so that's actually to a performance venue, not not like yeah. a museum or things that y'all Yeah, the Hobby Center is a really nice facility and we have 21 people going. Excellent. Yeah. So that'll be a good trip for that. Yeah. So lots of good things have happened since Easter and the summer is going to be nothing less Filling with up. upcoming events. Yes. Uh, we got SUPS, senior trips, also on the calendar, the youth uh, mission trip. But I think the main thing that everyone's looking forward to is the Freedom Festival, which usually happens around July, and we'll have various other events coming up through yeah. the summer VBS. And more information. And about before the we Fest. like have time, it'll be time for the pumpkin patch and Halloween and all yeah. those things. Let's not go there. Okay. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. So, Tom, with all of these events happening, yes. I think the biggest thing that I can say to our viewers out there is please don't forget to share your photos. I can't tell you how many times I go through an event and I see people taking pictures and then I never get a chance to see those Well, pictures. tell me how to do that because I don't really know All right. what you're even talking about. So our church has several different ways that you can send in photos or videos, mainly through our social media channels. Okay. So you've heard of things like Facebook or YouTube, possibly Instagram. So I've heard of those. <laughs> so the church has accounts on all of these different um, you know, ways to share social media avenues, even via our website, or you could just email the church directly with photos. Oh, and I'll okay. include all those links down here below in the okay. video. Okay. But anytime we have an event, we love to share. Um, other people would love to see the photos, um, even if you're savvy enough to tag the church. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, do whatever he says. <laughs> lots of different things. But um, it, it, it's just a great way to show, hey, the event actually happened. And it gets traction because when you share photos, other people will see those photos too. And, you know, it just it makes it seem like something actually happened. <laughs> I love it when it seems that way, that, don't you? <laughs> so um, just don't forget to share with everybody. I'm an only child, I don't Don't keep it to yourself. Okay. You all want to see those okay. photos. So social media, we'll be posting those um, below and at the end of the video. Okay. So Tom, anything else? I think that wraps it up. I think that about wraps it up. So my name is Ryan and this is my co-host. Tom. And you have been watching Across St. Bill's. Bill's. See ya.